Hey, what's up, guys? This is Paul, the auto technician from Paul Nash Autos Garage, and today I'm diagnosing this 2002 Toyota Pro Box that had uh, an issue of uh, losing power while you're driving it. So I did some uh, tests before coming here, and I confirmed those complaints. Uh, as you are driving up uh, an accent, the vehicle used to lose power dramatically. And as you use, uh, as you are approaching bumps, slowing down, it used to even stall, and it's an automatic uh, transmission vehicle. So I came here. Uh, I want to do some uh, test on the vehicle, uh, read the data, stream the data from the engine, see how the condition the engine is running, and from that direction, the data will help me to pinpoint exactly where the problem is. Okay, let's go directly to scanning the vehicle it has only three control units and we have some codes here on the SRS control module so if I look at this uh, all these codes here this, th these codes pertain about uh, a collision have been involved in a collision some time back so what we're going to do right now we're going directly to the ACM click enter okay Read data stream Right, so I'm going to select a couple of uh, bids right here. Okay, let's look at this set of data bids that I've selected. Uh, the charging system is running normal. The calculated load is 14%. Uh, uh, the engine speed is uh, running on average of uh, 650 revolutions per minute. The injector on time is 2.4 millisecond. That's a lot of on time, guys. Long term fuel trim uh, is taking away fuel minimally. Uh, O2 signal, bank one, sensor one. Uh, the feedback signal is very low. Short term fuel trim is 19.4%. And that's high, guys. So, what is happening right here is um, when I come to this injector on time, this one here, that one is a high on time. Uh, it's pretty on the high side. Because at this engine speed, at idle, the injector on time should run between 1 and 1.5 milliseconds. That's the normal basic running of the injector on time of an engine at idle. Uh, especially a small engine like this one. Short term fuel trim is quite high. Uh, our O2 sensor, the feedback signal to the PCM is very low. So what is happening here is uh, this sensor here, this O2 signal sensor is pretty low and um, it's sending a low feedback signal to the ECM and to compensate for that loss, the ECM is uh, increasing injector on time and it is remaining constant. And also the fuel trim, is, it's adding more fuel trim. So by increasing the injector on time, we are adding more fuel the system and that one now confirms the customers complaints that this vehicle was doing um, one liter of uh, gasoline was going for 13 kilometer and um, on a good day for this vehicle here right here it's one of the Toyota's uh, fuel efficient engines on a good day it should do between 18 to 19 kilometers per liter but uh, the consumption has drastically increased and now when you add fuel, instead of uh, the normal one liter going for 19, uh, 18 kilometers, it's going for 13 kilometers only. And that's it. Uh, this also confirms the reason why this vehicle was losing power as you are driving on an uphill uh, stretch. It was losing power dramatically. And as I told you, even when I was approaching uh, rumble strips or bumps, it used to even stall at times. So, um, this one here injector on time 
as I've told you, at idle, at this engine speed, it should be running between 1 and uh, 1.5 milliseconds. So at this uh, 2.4 milliseconds, it should be this injector on time should be running uh, between 2000 and 3000 rpm somewhere right there and this O2 sensor signal is very low so now someone might get confused and uh, change this O2 sensor but I can assure you that this O2 sensor is working correctly the problem with this vehicle is not the O2 sensor uh, it's neither uh, ignition coils like what they did here they changed these ignition coils and spark plugs and uh, when I carefully inspect uh, these spark plugs what I can tell you is that the engine was running lean this one here it translates to a lean condition and that means that uh, the spark was not crossing through this gap through the plasma uh, plasma is superheated gas inside the combustion chamber so this this uh, fuel trims right here what they, they they are telling me is that we have a problem with the fuel delivery system of this engine and that translates why the injector on time is that long at idle so um what we're going to do is we're going to test the fuel system um very quick and uh, easy methods so that we can narrow down on this problem so this is a typical 300 ml cup uh, we're going to test uh, measure the amount of time it takes to fill this cup to the brim from this uh, fuel delivery line here that point right there and then we're going to the back of the vehicle and measure uh, how much it will take to fill this cup directly from the fuel pump itself here we go fire figure Okay, now I'm going to connect here the, directly from the fuel pump. Uh, I've already removed this uh, locking tab here. So I'm going to take this uh, connection off. Connect my nose pipe. Then we're going to crank and see how long it will take to fill this cup from this point. Uh, crank the engine. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see we've taken six seconds to fill this cup. So now we have a restriction on this line somewhere in between we have a restriction so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove that fuel line fuel pipe and then we'll trace for restriction on that line so if i choose to follow it closely uh, here it is right here it's coming from this point And coming all the way to this point right here so it's a uh, this one here the big pipe here so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to we're going to release them from this point here we're going to cut that connect that uh, tire up right there and then our pipe is this one here, the big one. We follow it all the way to the front. <laughs> and when you get to that point, there's your restriction right there. See that? That is what's causing all these problems on this vehicle. So when you are driving up an, an accent, and when the demand for fuel is high, fuel is being restricted, fuel flow. So you experience loss of power 
and even at points stalling. <laughs>